hormone replacement, the idea of taking hormones to feel better is a very old one. Even Hippocrates, I think, described it, but it really started taking off in the 19th century and the beginning of the 1920s. And the idea was to um, preserve your physical integrity. Uh, we've come a long way from there now, because we now have estrogens which are identical to the ones that uh, we would be producing ourselves. Then we had the second boom, and the amounts of HRT used went sky high. And why did they go sky high? Because women were voting with their feet. They were happy to be in HRT. They felt their lives being given back. They knew their life expectancy had increased vastly in the last 100 years to 85. And they were going to spend 45 years being miserable. And they were, of course, having short-term effects. They were then having the most terrible effects on their long-term problems of the menopause, such as osteoporosis, Alzheimer's and cardiovascular disease. I, I really think there is a new era starting now because actually after the Women Health Initiative study, the first study published in 2002, we have a lost generation, a lost gen generation of women who have not been offered proper treatment and also a lost generation of doctors and other health professionals. So we need to educate both women and health professionals in this area. I think that is very, very important. After which the whole dialogue on menopause changed from hormones are beneficial to hormones are dangerous. And now, 20 years later, we're back to hormones are beneficial with a more positive attitude since the Women's Health Initiative investigators have typically little by little by little walked back most of what they have put forward in 2002, 2004. I think it's absolutely amazing that we, as a menopause specialist, that I'm hearing about menopause, that I'm, where women are talking about it, they're coming to ask questions. I, I remember when I started my clinic three years ago, I had to go and find people to come to my clinic. And since we've had this explosion and talking about menopause, now women come to me and say, I've got perimenopause. So that's a huge difference that I can see anyway, straight away.